Back from the pool, shall we open up a few shoes? Come on. All right, so tonight, 7 p.m. Tonight, Wednesday, if you're watching this on Wednesday, oh gosh, hold on, let me just, eight, we are doing the next running shoe giveaway on Facebook. And so these shoes that arrived yesterday at the P.O. Box, these are gonna be the first shoes that are given away. Let's see here. Uh-huh. Okay. Super psych, oh man, not running shoes. I totally forgot. Look what someone from Washington sent me. I forgot about this. This was a message I think I received, maybe on Facebook, I can't remember. Boom, a waist belt for the pool. That is amazing. I can use this for aqua jogging and thank you so, so much for sending this. I think he had a spare. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, performance compression socks in bright green. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh my, and let's see, what else is this? Oh, spring energy gel, uh, goose. Uh, by spring. Spring is a company I've never tried before, but I'm very interested. All right, and then one more, one more thing here. Long lasting energy. It, oh, it's more, I didn't see the back. It's more, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at all this. Thank you so much. Oh man, and then a note here. Let me just see here real quick. Da, 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 da. All right, shout out to, it looks like Craig. Shout out to Craig, thank you so much in Washington. Hope you were able to put the aqua jogging belt to good use and get back to full speed for Cleveland or another race. Um, he found a couple other items, the spring gels, uh, and then the compression socks, amazing. Thanks for sharing your story with us on YouTube. All the best. Ah, you're the best, this is awesome. So let me, you know what? Let me maybe, maybe by the end of this vlog, I will go get another pair of shoes. All right, attempt number one to call the podiatrist. No one answered, so that's a little strange. So I'm gonna call back here in a little bit. I'm, it's Tuesday now, getting a little antsy. It's time to get these MRI results. Uh, so hopefully they have them back. In fact, I'm just gonna call back right now. I can't, let's just see here. Hold on. Please hold while I try to connect you. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for Perry Church. No one is available to All take right. call. I'll keep... You better believe I'm going to keep trying. Okay, here we go. These are from Florida. Oh, man. All right. From, let's see, from Florida. This is awesome. Now, these got to be running shoes. Obviously, it looks, it looks like running shoes. Let's see here. What's it going to be? So these will be the first shoes given away tonight. Oh man, what is it? Oh, they're black. They're black. Ooh, Brooks. Let's see. They're Gore-Tex. But what is the shoe? The Ghost. Oh, this is the Brooks Ghost. Is this the 11 or the 10? Looks like the 11. The Brooks Ghost 11 in Gore-Tex. That's pretty neat. So basically, if you live in a rainy area, these shoes are for you. Oh man, and let's, I'll give you the size as well. Let's look, okay, nine and a half, there you go. Nine and a half, Brooks Ghost 11, Gore-Tex. First shoes, two nights, all right. Exciting, exciting. And now I'm back on the phone. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. I was, uh... How's, do... your, foot, how's your foot been feeling? It's the radiologist that read the MRI, and she's got a special interest in foot and ankle imaging. Okay. I've got her report, though. Okay. And on her, her report, has got a couple of things that I'd like to take a little bit closer look at. Sure. Uh, first off, she's saying that the first metatarsal looks normal, and there's no... There's no signs of a stress fracture. Okay. But she also mentions that in the proximal portion, meaning the closest part to the ankle, on the second and third metatarsal, 
shows what she's calling a stress response. Okay. She doesn't see any fractures through it. The way that I would interpret this is almost like bruising inside the bone. Got it. All right. So she says, she says, noted along the dorsal margin, it's going to be at the top of the navicular first cuneiform joint. There's a small area that looks like there may be something going on with the cartilage. Okay. Okay. Uh, but the rest of the navicular cuneiform compartment, everything looks normal. Okay. So most of what she's saying here, everything looks normal. We're not seeing any tears in any of the ligaments. We're not seeing it. So she's basically saying everything looks like it's intact. Yeah. But there is a stress response in the second and third metatarsals. And at the proximal side, typically if we have a stress fracture in those bones, that's where it's going to be. Sure, sure. Uh, all right, thank you. You're welcome. You have a good afternoon. All right, you too. Bye. Bye. Well, there you go. All right, let's go out to the studio, break this down. I was not. Ex I'm so glad I. Uh, so glad I left a voicemail. And boy, he called back like that. Ah, oh, appreciate this doctor. Appreciate this doctor. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Okay, I'm out in the studio. I'm pro I literally just hung up the phone with a podiatrist, the foot doctor. So I'm processing this l in real time right now. And um, yeah, so I had another game plan for today's vlog. I was going to talk about some other topics here in the studio, but I think we're going to call an audible like we did a couple days ago and hone in on these. So I was calling the doctor, calling the doctor all afternoon, and it's Tuesday, and I'm like, come on, we got to get these results. I want to, I want to get to the bottom of this and so I just got the phone call and basically you I, I showed you a little bit of it and I really I'm really liking this uh, podiatrist I haven't I've never been to him before and he's a he's an, a former I think army so he's a, he's from the military background so he's like kind of straight to the point doesn't mess around and I appreciate that when it comes to doctors they just tell it to you straight you want to hear the truth right so he told me the truth well first of all uh, the radiologist that he uses is a foot and ankle specialist when it comes to radiology uh, that's what he tells me so I trust him and the radiologist who focuses on foot and ankle injuries did not see any stress fractures this is good news but the key word for this blog is bruise because what he did tell me is that there might be signs and so okay and I use that word might you got to be careful the words you use but he said that there's signs of bone bruising on the second and third metatarsal um, and listen he, he, he spent about seven to eight minutes explaining everything to me and a lot of it was he was talking about bones and ligaments that I just went a little over my head I was like now wait a minute can you tell me where that is on the foot as far as a, a particular bone so I need to go back what I'm gonna do is the clip you saw a second ago me talking to the doctor I'm gonna go back tonight when I start editing and listen re-listen to the conversation I had the entire conversation with the doctor but no stress fractures, uh, and I use plural because uh, he, well, I'm feeling pain in different areas of my foot. So he said no stress fractures, but possibly bone bruising, and yes, bruise again is key word. Um, so this is good, and it makes sense, because I think two weeks ago when I started really feeling the pain, it felt like a stress fracture, but it didn't feel like a, like I've had nine maybe ten I think I think I've had nine stress fractures in my entire running career I've had a lot of them and so I know what a stress fracture feels like it's a sharp it's a pretty sharp pain and you know like some are worse than others um anyway he did say though the doctor the podiatrist did say that um if I would have kept running these bone bruises probably would have turned into a stress fracture so I'm glad that I stopped and then also, he did say that um, he is going to pull up the images uh, tomorrow in his office just to confirm what the radiologist is saying. Uh, and then he also, one last point, he said that there might be some signs of some, I think he said cartilage damage. So some soft tissue cartilage damage in a certain, and that would make sense based on the symptoms that I'm feeling. Again, it wasn't as sharp as a stress fracture usually is for me. Um, okay, this is good. I'm smiling. This is good. And, and man, ah, so I obviously, yeah, obviously I'm not going to make a decision 
in this moment about Cleveland or about any racing moving forward. I just got to be patient and see how it feels tomorrow and the next day and the next day and keep hitting it hard. So today's uh, cross training, I swam and I didn't do any filming, but I'll maybe show you a few random clips from the past, past week of, uh, of swimming. I swam for two hours in 19 minutes. And you're probably like, huh, that's an interesting number. And if, if you've been watching the vlog for a while now, you know why I swam for exactly two hours and 19 minutes. It's up here. It's all up here. And I am just making sure that I am mentally focused, mentally confident. Um, so anyway, I had two hours and 19 minutes. It, it, it got really hard probably the last 30 minutes. Like I was I was feeling it at the end, but uh, it was a great workout in the pool today, and I don't know what else to say. I'm just kind of processing this with you guys live here in the studio. So thank you for the support. I'm excited. So True Love and I are off to date night, so I haven't even told her yet uh, the results of the MRI, so I'm going to tell her on, in front of the camera in the car here in a second, so stay tuned for that. And what I was going to focus on tonight or today for you was all about 5K training because I'm getting a lot of questions about 5k training um, and the question of the day was going to be about 5k training but I'm going to nix that plan we'll cover 5k training uh, later this week hopefully but therefore I don't have a question of the day for you instead I want to pose this opportunity for you what questions would you like to pose not necessarily to me but to this YouTube running family. So down in the comments, if you have a kind of a broader question for everyone, not necessarily for me, but for just everyone about anything, uh, ask it down below. It could be about yesterday's topic, about Elliot Kipchoge. It could be about uh, 10K racing flats. It could be about what's your favorite uh, pasta dish, you know, three nights before a marathon race. It could be anything. Uh, so hit it up down below. That would be awesome. I got to call an audible with a question of the day because I am just... I'm just kind of excited, and I'm glad I stopped running, right? We gotta listen to our bodies. This is good news. Okay, I am going out to the car. We're, oh man, I can't stop smiling. All right, let's go outside. Woo, here we go, everybody. Here we go. It's like shorts and a top that oh. match. Wrong side here. Okay. <laughs> And you gotta do what you gotta do. We gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, it's so clean oh, in here. I know Oil they vacuumed it. I love when they vacuum. All right, here we go, YouTube family. We're going on date night, and uh, basically, got a couple updates for you. Oh, hon. good, hit me. First of all, okay. shout out to Kaylee <gasps> for creating the spreadsheet Genius. for the running shoe giveaway tonight, 7 p.m. tonight. When you're watching this on Wednesday. Basically, I was the, like, no, tonight's the, the, basically the running shoe giveaways are the running shoe giveaway is going to go much smoother uh, tonight. Shout out to Kaylee. Kaylee, you have allowed us to scale up. I mean, in gone are the days where I can write everything down and cut them all out, and it's just gone. It's over. We so crushing it. See you tonight on Facebook and Hun. Another update. Yep. No stress fracture. <gasps> no stress fracture. <gasps> So That's I, fantastic I got a phone call from the podiatrist Whoa. about an hour ago. Oh, that was when you went back in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> so basically, they're anyway. Okay. It, they're, That's huge. It's huge. It's huge. The best tacos of our life. Our life. Of our entire life. Cucino, what is it? Cucino tacos. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh, that's how, and that's how we see beauty. That's how we see beauty right there. All right, everybody. The queso was like gold. It was in gold. Your mouth. Oh Homemade man. Homemade chips. Everything fast. Awesome service. Amazing. Ten out of ten. Ten out. Of, seriously. Ten out of ten. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love Eat each other. Tacos. Eat tacos. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Boom!